look at what IP commands look like. Uh, we see the event type there where IP command is uh, selected. And we could even uh, do the event name. We see it in the orange cell. It's really just for the programmer's reference, but once again, makes your life a little easier as a programmer. So we, we've chosen that it's an IP command. We support TCP or UDP type from the WPA. You enter the IP address of the device you're controlling and the IP port. And then is it a string or hex format? And you enter the data in there. The data is what the command looks like, right? So you'd have to refer to the owner's manual of the device you're controlling. And you see there that backslash lowercase r, that's a carriage term. You just manually type that in backslash n for line feed, for example, and then you could enter a delay after that command is sent before the next command sends so that if you're controlling the same device, there's a little bit of spacing between each command send. 